Hello everyone, welcome back to Altrius Plays Dead Cells. It does switch the control from the controller to the keyboard every time I start recording because my recording hotkey is a keyboard. That's okay. We will survive. We'll get through it, don't worry. We picked up two things that I'm not sure about. Uh, a is that the blood sword? Yes. Um I don't like the whip. I don't really find it has much value. What I would like to try and work towards is this Hunter's Grenade. We have unlocked, but it seems to be that it's gated behind a reasonably expensive... What are you doing? This isn't fair. <laughs> Although it's quick. Why are there more? I've never had to fight these jokers on this floor before. <clears throat> Didn't even have a skill. Gated behind a reasonably expensive door. So, therefore, I would like to work towards, pardon me, having um, more money at the start of the game so that we can buy the Hunter's Grenade without having to think about it. Writing. Some writing, but it's difficult to read. Malaise affected, not die. Okay, cool. Uh, any, give me stuff? No? I don't want lore that doesn't come with a reward for finding it. Like a chicken leg or something. That is a not hunter's grenade, but it's still a decent grenade, so we'll take it. Now that I've, I've just come away from the daily, as you can probably imagine, and I'm wondering how I... <laughs> Let's try this. Let's put it on here, because I hate the whip. Um, I'm just interested to know... One, two, three, four. I see. So you have to sort of... Yeah, okay. These are better. Now that you understand that the last kick, which I didn't understand, now I do understand, is simply the fourth kick. And you can kick it really fast as well. And it's way more satisfying than the Spartan Sandals, whatever they're called. I think might be the name of them. So... I mean, I'm already tempted to take an ice bow or this 30 damage mm. let's see if we can find a possibility that the hunter's grenade is available to us if it is we will take it if it's not we'll go somewhere else by which I mean buy something else uh, I see another skill that I have missed we'll take Thank you, Bob. Thank you for that, because you screwed me over before. I think I'm uh, reasonably happy with the hub I used to be. If, they, if I had to use them as a primary weapon, I would not be mad. It's a weird sort of setup down there that I have yet to discover. So let's go that way. Not getting the time door. Again... <sighs> Sort of give and take whether I care about the time door. Comes and goes anyway. That was decent. I appreciate that. The ability to just roll through that gap even though I was flinging onto the ledge. That uh, last kick is actually quite satisfying. Which was the problem I had with the Spartan Sandals. Is it was just so dull and wet. Um, Honestly, that's the sort of feedback that you would have in playtesting. It's not a problem with the play of the game. Although it could arguably be because I'm playing the game. Yeah, oh, there we go. Um, use this to annoy a monster. When its health is down 40% or less, use blueprint extractor. What? <laughs> I'll take it and find out. If this run is doomed because I just spent all of my money on what turns out to be you know nonsense. I wonder if it turns into Blueprint Extractor when it's annoying an enemy. It kind of implies that all enemies with sufficient annoyance will um, <laughs> give up the... the oh, I haven't got any money. We'll give up the secrets on some Blueprint or other. But yes, this because we have a Blood Sword. Kind of not 100% happy with the idea that we have two melee weapons, one of which is in my opinion not that good. I know I said that I would be happy if it was my primary weapon, that doesn't mean that I would not be also extremely happy to replace it as my primary weapon. 
That's a bit lame. Uh, I simply mean that if it was the first thing on the, the starting room, I would probably, probably manage a certain distance before it became a problem. So all of our things are red, which I think is grand. Re gradely. So I like red. Ow. Talk about annoying monsters. The monster's annoying me. No new blueprints to be drawn from this creature. Very well. Saw that. Get out of here. We pick it up again. With RB. <laughs> Try to press LT. So each... I understand. I, I think I have understood the, the principle here. So this turns into an elite, which I did not expect. Help. Turns into an elite. So if you're going to do that, make sure you have some way of um, fighting an elite. <laughs> Which I didn't. Especially one that teleports instantly. And then double taps you. My, my tea has gone from too hot to barely lukewarm. <laughs> so that's good to, good to know. Um, so the way this works, now that we've learned it, is it turns the enemy into an elite. Uh, after that, your guess is as good as mine. I didn't have the opportunity to see whether the blueprint extractor was a thing that happened to nice people or not. You know, am I a good? Have been? I, have I been a good boy this year? Is Santa bringing me the blueprint extractor as a replacement for the grenade at that point, or do I have to also have a blueprint extractor and therefore? There's actually going to be a uh, hole in my stocking this Christmas because I'm going to kill an elite and get nothing from it. I actually tried to throw the uh, <laughs> the grenade at the, the zombie, so that wasn't ideal. So now we've obviously got no money, so we're going to have to play another run to get enough money back to give to the bloody bugger in the first place. There is a hole this time. There's something is hidden here. Food. Uh, I mean, I'm okay with it, but we only have 150 HP at the moment anyway, and if you would be so kind as to not give me a... Um, is that it? Just two arrows? Not that good. Um, not give me a chest full of monsters that I can't deal with on my first chest, and instead give me an item that improves my lot. I'm not spending the money on it. There's often several skills available on the first floor anyway. Good. So I don't want to spend money on skills when... Oftentimes, when I spend money on skills, I immediately replace it with something I find anyway. I recognize that I have two slots, so I'm not going to replace anything, but here's an infantry grenade. Here's a scroll of power, and we're already doing another brutality run because I am... Um, a little bit jaded of trying these experimental not brutality runs which just end up boring <laughs> because um, I, I'm i trying to do things I don't know how to do and we just die or, or it just falls a bit limp lackadaisical people often mispronounce as lackadaisical but there's no x or even s lackadaisical I don't know what a daisical is and what it means. Well, obviously, to lack it is to be um, humdrum. So, presumably, a daisical is some sort of thing that is of essence. Because uh, lacking a daisical would just be. I honestly thought that would kill you outright. So, I didn't even try. Give me that. This feels like. Oh. Do we not have elite rooms down here anymore? It's probably the case. Means it finds an elite room? The other th the thing about the flash when your thing is ready is that I'm not looking for that. <laughs> I'm not paying attention to that. I've missed this. It's kind of what I wanted. Is more loot. No baddies, please. Thank you. Not very good, but nobody's as requested. 
Uh, promenade. We're gonna warm back up again. It's been a few days since I played and I just spent half an hour trying to do a daily run, which admittedly I did try and do with a cursed sword, which honestly, it was a pretty good sword. I think I understand it now because basically if you just run away from everything. Yeah, this one. You know what, let's, let's unlock this. Let's see what we get. And then put some money into this. I know I said that I would like... And probably prefer a oh, problem solved. Um, see, I'm wondering. Oh, now I'm thinking. Because sadism as well. We could like run in with. Yeah, let's let's try this instead. I'm not really using a, the duplex bow. At least at that level is damp. <laughs> it's underwhelming to say the least. Whereas. I'm going to keep those as they are and save my money, if that's all the same to you. If we can run in with a bleeding weapon and get at least one enemy bleeding, that gives us the mutation bonus. And if maybe we can re-roll our sadist stiletto into having one of those three... Um, uh, oh, bleeding or poison damage on it, we should get the money. Then... We've basically got a, a synergy in a single unit, which is grand. I mean, for now we have a, a sort of a synergy between two items, which is also okay. But it doesn't it doesn't go too far. Might as well have that. I remember using it. Um, <laughs> it's a great effect. So we do that and then just whack him. Because we can um, we can embleed in more than one thing at once. If we really wanted to. Uh, probably with... I mean, with one swing of our sword, it's possible to attack more than one creature, so... Die! Okay, good. Do I want this? Not so much. Maybe... It's too late. So I think that if we wander into a melee with a, a melee with the swing of our blood sword and then attack with the other sword, we've basically got um, free crits for life. So let's try it a little bit. Nice. And if we, even if we don't manage to successfully, you know, crit the thing immediately. Excuse me. There are too many things here that cannot be hurt because of this. Die! Help! <laughs> Run away! Nice. I really, really need a way of stunning these things. Oh good. The biters. The biters made all the difference somehow. Wowee. I very much disapprove of the thing that cr creates a shield around so many enemies. When those enemies can then follow us until we get to the shield bearer creator thingy. Not interested at your ludicrous prices, monsieur. Thank you all the same. This might have been... Uh, oh, I'm going to sneeze. It might have been worth trying a reroll out of biters. I know how much I like biters. You know how much I like biters. Um, but not at the expense of my sanity. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm going to uh, do that from a little bit higher up. It's all the same to you. Yeah, so we can hit everything with our blood sword. And at least critting those things does stun them. So if we can swing fast enough, sweet chariot, then we can. That was a new one. Again, this is silly. <laughs> Stop. Oh wait, that's not one of them. Hey, I was focused on that and completely should have been paying more attention to the things around me, but nevertheless feel justified in complaining that wow, we we should use this. <laughs> uh, the, the shield thingy was once again making a completely untenable situation, even though in this situation it was not untenable. It's an active speed buff. Plus, 
Yes, but which one? <laughs> Let's replace this. Might as well sell this and get some money back. Because I don't want the other item anyway. I don't want either of them. There's a scroll of power. I see it. So, that was... A <laughs> staring at that, like, I'm sure there's a, a correct answer here, but I don't know what it is. Please. Those things are very hard to hit in the back. Oh, I didn't see you. I do apologize. Let me attend to you forthwith. I know I pivoted again, and I should really be trying to stick with my, um... My, my, my synergy. Which I kind of still am, because I did take the Sadist synergy. So I can still make some use out of the... Blood sword, just not as much use as we used to be able to. Uh, uh, mm, yes. Uh, uh, right. Now I can stab the difficult things in the back. That is what I'm thinking here. Although I did justify it after I took it because it was a nice device. The alliteration there. And I like them. Please. You're going to dog my heels, so I'm going to get rid of you. I like this. I've not, <laughs> not even noticed this before. Hello? Question mark. Hmm. I don't know how much about this casting, but I like him already. Cool stuff, friend. What have you got for me? Nice. Richest creosote, mate. Okay, and I'm still yet to recognise where the third... Um, even though I found it once <laughs> by accident. Very much like a bow for those things. So we could do this, and then... Yikes. That. That's much better when they're slowed. They slow down extremely as well. Appreciate the... The extent to which they slow down is also amazing. I also would remind you that stun grenades... I think stun grenades? Something works through those shields, and I believe at least ice does, and maybe fire. So elemental damage, basically. Because this bat thing is going to be the bane of my life. I could um, throw grenades at them. That was alright. Did okay there, I think. Not taking stupid damage against spikes for some time as well, which I think is um, <laughs> about to happen. <laughs> oh, why do you speak? Stop saying things. We could go to the prison depths. I am yet tempted to go to the prison depths. It's one of those words like six. Just people, why, why is it a word in our language? We have a very difficult language. As much as I like many of the words we have, I, I do wish that we would just have a, a bit of a moratorium on words that don't need to be as complicated as they are to say them. My um, alarm is going off because it's 10 o'clock. That's the go the hell to bed alarm. Kind of. <laughs> I try to go to bed at 10 o'clock. Simply because if I do that, then the next day is so much nicer. I do have to get up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Well, I don't have to. I'm supposed to kind of sort of get up at 7. Half past 7 to feed the doggo. And let her go outside because... You know... It's a creature, it has to... I believe the posh term for it is eliminate. She has to eliminate the things that are inside her, which have been generated by the other stuff that I put inside her on the other end. Well, gave her to put inside herself. I know that's even worse. <laughs> Why are you saying things like this? Um, okay, now let's go to the prison depths. Do I care about that? No. Uh, and... Getting to work nice and early is kind of grand, because you can go home nice and early, and then... <laughs> sort of. <laughs> or possibly you take a longer lunch break, something like this. You understand. Yeah. Thank you. Don't care about the lightning bolt. So I'm going to put the money in here. Starting to get to the point where the things that we can um, pick up are not that interesting. Okay. We need this. 
We can now replace that grenade with another infantry grenade if we can find one, which I think would be amazing. Game, if you could be so kind as to see to it that an infantry grenade finds its way into my infantry. Did I? I, I said infantry grenade, right? Because now I'm like, I might have said infantry. That was just mean, because I couldn't seem to grab onto the thing that I needed to grab onto in order to prevent that from happening. Although, mind you, had I just thrown an ice grenade at it, it would just press this button. What, what is that? Slows down enemies, inflicts critical damage on targets in water or covered in oil. Right, so it doesn't actually freeze them like that. Which was amazing, by the way. Did you see that? Although a slowdown is often sufficient. Thank you for having a scroll. It's got to be brutality because nothing is not red. Nice. Get out of here. Move along. No. <laughs> Bad gamer. Help. Why are you not? Okay. That was pesky. What was happening there was that I couldn't roll between the two enemies because they were so close together, but they were sort of putting up a, a Roman-style shield of defense so that there was... What? There was always one of them was facing me, meaning that I couldn't stab either of them in the back, and I was desperate to stab one of them in the back because it was about to unfreeze. Instead of which, I got worst of both worlds. No. No. I mean, I'm happy to replace this ice grenade with an infantry grenade because slowdown is almost as good as complete freeze. I mean, slowdown gives you so much more time to react in the first place. Oh my god, help. <laughs> Let me out. Very good. I tried to throw that at you, but I tried to run away as well. Sort of like worst of both worlds sort of thing going on here. Die. You have no back. These enemies have faced you. Just leave me alone. Miss me with that. And when I say face you, I mean face the damn camera. That was absolutely worth it. You're immune to that whilst you're... Oh, no, you're not. You did slow down. It's just, it didn't help. Because you were impossible to hit anyway. You bugger. Okay. This is one of those ones where you just want to get through it as fast as possible. I'm not going to have a 30 skull curse on me. There's nothing this way. Let's not do it. Uh, just for some cells. It's not going to happen. Not me. I haven't really talked about anything other than the game today. It's unusual. Can someone give me some advice on these spider bots? Because, as far as I can tell, they're bullshit. Right? That was okay. Still managed to turn around when I would rather it hadn't. You managed to get me with that shot. Did you see how it hurt me before it arrived at me? Before it even hit the ground, for goodness sake. That was a... Uh, I think that was very rude, actually. Again, miss me. I know, it's slang. It's street slang. It's modern. It's unbecoming of a... Of a Jap dapper gentleman like myself. But... Yes, yes, that's exactly how you do it. Run away. <laughs> Bad news bears. You turn around so fast that I don't have the opportunity to even get away from the situation. Which is not fair either. So, get out of it. <laughs> I just walked straight into that as well. Have this. Most of the
the enemies down here are really, really difficult. Move on up. Why are you still allowed to move? I can hit you when you're spinning, when you're in water, because I have the crit whilst you're standing in water thingy. Which is a really nice synergy, but it worked for me just now. That was terrible. I fully understand how you'd be mad at me for doing that. Also, I'm mad at myself for not just slowing the enemies down first. So gives me that little bit of extra time. That's almost imperative in many situations down here. The, uh, the squeaking of the chains sounds like the squeaking of the bats that chase me and explode. So <laughs> Forgive me for being wary. Ossuary already. We could leave. We could go over there and see what's in that shop. So let's do that. I'm assuming it's a shop. I believe they're probably different colours, but I can't tell. So don't at me. Oh, mate. Alright, fine. <laughs> this episode is currently shorter than the daily episode was. But fine. This is not a very good payout. Although that's another uh, infantry grenade, so... HP is the least of my worries right now. That's... Okay. I'm gonna do that, actually. I know what I said. But... Um... I really appreciate the fact I can stop enemies right now. It's super useful. I'm going to actually walk around like this. N no. We're going <laughs> to... Somehow I think that the ossuary is a better opportunity to lift this curse than any of the nonsense down here when you're going to be chucking me... These, uh... That one didn't count. These, um... Nonsense bloody... I'm, I will do this, because otherwise I die. Jump. Six. Two. Take your time. Whew. Couldn't, uh, wouldn't let me throw my grenade, because I'm still on the thing. Hi, hi, hi! What are you trying to do? I don't like that. Did you see him? He had a right go. Did you see him have a go? Nice. Four. Let's go up here and see if there's more of them. Maybe the ossuary is not so strictly necessary as I thought it might be. Three. Are you up there? Is this the only place you are? Two. <laughs> I can see a thing. What is it? I don't like it. Okay, it's not up there, because it's up there. I see. I forgot that you can actually see them. I don't want to be suddenly got by something else that's over here. Like that, yeah. Exactly. Thank you for your timely demonstration. Of what worries me so much when I've only got two things left to kill. One thing left to kill. Where's that heckin' zombie gone? Don't even risk it. Don't even play with me. Whoa! And we finished. Okay, perfect. Was it worth it for the inven invent- the inventory- <laughs> Was it worth it for the other item that we won as a result? No! No, it really was not. Ooh, this might be worth it though. I don't think it is. Let's leave. So we're going to go to the Oswari. And we're still not dead. So actually this episode is likely to be longer than the daily episode. But oh, was it nearly not. I, I'm i happy that I'm more comfortable now in opening those, those uh, cursed chests in the first place. Because uh, I hope it will be obvious why I'm happy about that. Will you? Yeah, talk to me, boy. Um... In case it's not clear, I've been avoiding them because I'm scared, because I'm bad at the game, <laughs> yeah? Uh, and now I'm not so scared, which means I'm kind of less bad at the game. That's basically it, so don't think too deeply into it. Let's reforge these. Let's just reforge. 
I think I'm not going to take away this 20% damage taken, so I'm not going to uh, upgrade those too much anymore. Thor more slowly. That's actually really useful for some of the enemies we're about to see. Um, we haven't got any skills. We really want to just go full on uh, red, but I never know whether to take the last two, because usually we have a couple of enemies near us, but also I don't like having a couple of enemies near us. So... It's kind of hedging my bets a little bit. Not my favouritist. wonder if Jen's back here. She does spend a long time out. Whew. Nope. Nice. I do not know how I successfully dealt with that uh, Luminati pyramid in such a short amount of time. Our stabby in the back thing is doing really well right now, which fills me with pleasure. It's filled with fluffy little pink balls of pleasure. That is how chuffed I am with this situation. This is not fair. I didn't turn around. Okay. <laughs> that one was on me. The rest of them, that was on the game. Game kudos. Um, I apparently, if you keep pressing the button, it will just your character would just turn around and attack what's, what's left to attack. Which is not what I wanted to do, because of how the thing that was left to attack is facing away from me and stabs you in the back, if you stab it in the back. Uh, I do appreciate the speed of this infantry. <laughs> Inf Inf I was right! <laughs> I can't say the word, but I still got it right. Leave me alone. Get out of here. We also just probably use this a little bit. It's not quite as fast as the uh, firebrands, and it's kind of a weird synergy having the fire on that right now. So maybe, maybe rethink our synergy. I don't know. Which one does have it on? Uh, oil also helps with the ice shard. I didn't. I, I probably read that before. It's the infantry grenade. So that's not the worst synergy because it's at least not an. <laughs> it's not a uh, single item working against itself. But at the same time. It's not the best thing in the world either, because we have an item that works against another item. I honestly, I'm so sick of that thing. I'm th sick of things in general stun locking me. I think it's a little bit rude. Um, had I been on the playtesting committee, I would have said, "Why is it so easy to get stun locked?" And they would say, "You're not supposed to be in that situation in the first place. You're supposed to play better." I'm going, yes, but it's hard. <laughs> and they go, yes, it's a hard game. And I'm going, yes, but it's too hard. Now, in theory, I can just do what I did last time, but I'm not going to do it again, because that thing really does hurt if you get it wrong. Give me a low. That's uh, very helpful. It's actually quite a lot of damage from that fire. So if my, uh, leave me alone, if my amazing skills at <laughs> melee attack are not sufficient, heaven forfend, at least the fire will get it, and it, it doesn't necessarily energize with the, uh, the, the other, uh, the ice, basically. It's not like the ice is 100% against it, but, um, it just sort of doesn't work nicely together early on. Will you stop having so many enemies that I can't do anything about it? Maybe I should have taken two infantry grenades. That was, that was the advice. Probably not going to take a broadsword without something to slow everything down. I do have things to slow everything down, but it's not slowy downy enough. What I'm, the only time I'm happy with something like the broadsword is if I have something very reliable like ice blast to take the enemies down early, so that I have time to swing it. You think we can swing it? We can. Can I swing it? I, I assume, by the way, that fire um, puts out ice, so to speak. I don't really know. So we know that an oiled sword would be great if we uh, wanted to use this new ice thingy that we have. So I want to be up here? Not really. So let's just leave. Um, it's nice to know that there are synergies that we can rely on in the future without necessarily having to break our backs to try and make the work for us right now. 
So if we did find an oiled sword, we don't have to go, oh, an oiled sword, it's useless without fire. Because it's not. We can also take the, the ice pointy stabby. I'm going to get some more HP because I'm really bad at this game. As you can see by my randomly jumping in the wrong direction all the time. And the fact that I've got uh, a backstabby weapon in probably the only floor in the game where backstabby weapons are going to work against you. We're probably about to find our way into the Forgotten Sepulchre, which means we are going to have to um, fight faster because... Wait, what? Oh. The Dark Bull Killers. If we don't... <laughs> I don't think this is the strongest run. And, I mean, you may say, no duh, but I mean, well, that. <laughs> I have got anything else to say for myself. It's not there. Excuse me? Uh, excuse me? Where do we go? Whoa, oh. Where do we go from here? There's nothing. There's no, there's no way out. Where's the next piece of the level? There's probably... A stompy floor. Some oh, it's right there. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. It's bedtime. Well, my alarm did go off. We know it's ten o'clock. It's gone ten o'clock. I, I can't remember. I'm flagging. <laughs> I'm sleepy. It's been a long day. Oh, I've got work to do, man. Got work to do. I'm finish up my day. Oh, that was count. No. No. -uh. Excuse me. I, why wouldn't you let me throw the grenade that I required to get out of the situation? You just went, did you hear the boom boom? That was like, no. It's not going to do it. Finding myself stun locked <laughs> very, very often is kind of stressful. It's doing my head in. I'm sure the correct thing to do is not get in those situations in the first place. This is awful. <laughs> um, but... I am in those situations in the first place. Like, how am I... I tried to stamp on everything and then throw an ice grenade. And I threw the other grenade first, and then it wouldn't let me throw the ice grenade. And I'm going, well, I'm dead. So, that happened. Well, it was an okay run. We didn't really get much achieved. We did get something unlocked, though, so that's okay. Um, and we played with it. We learned some things about it. If we do find an oiled sword, at least we know that we can synergize it with our new item, which is small consolation for the swiftness of my death just now, but nevertheless, at least I can go to bed, so thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Remember to leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave a comment, go to bed, it's late, you've got work in the morning. See ya. Night night.